Thank God for all the sufferings and all the persecution. Whatsoever we have to endure in this life that we may reap eternal henceforth to come. Right. And we realize that in our time here, Mm. We have to work out our soul salvation. Yeah. Right. Can't work it out any old kind of way. <laughs> Got to work it out according as it is written. Yeah. yeah. The Bible said, time cometh when the true worshipers right. shall worship him that is in spirit and in truth. Right. Amen. Meaning Amen. you have to take your spirit mm. and watch, worship the eternal spirit. Right. You don't worship, I know folks don't like to hear it this way, but uh, you don't worship God with God. You understand that? Right. God ain't seeking nobody to worship him with him. He's seeking folks to worship him with their spirit. Amen. Right. See, you have a spirit. Right. Am I right? Amen. Amen. Do you know you have a spirit? Yes. God ain't looking for your hands and your eyes and your feet. He said, my son, give me thine heart. Right. Amen. The spirit of a man. Right. Mm -hmm. Ain't talking about no fleshly heart. He don't want that. Right. But the true worshipers. Who's yeah. the true worshipers? We are, right? Amen. 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 We supposed to be the true worshipers. Amen. The true worshipers shall worship him in spirit. Amen. What spirit do you think that is? What did Apostle Paul say in the book of Romans? Romans 1 and 9. Let's see if I'm on point here. Amen. Holy Ghost is our witness. Amen. Amen. Holy Ghost is a wit post of witness what your spirit is doing. Yes. Right. Hmm? And your spirit will have to bear witness with the Holy Ghost. Right. And the Holy Ghost is written. The word of God is the Holy Ghost. Yes. Right. You can't be worshiping any old kind of way we can't find it written. Amen. True worshipers should worship him in spirit and in truth. Yes. yes. Amen. What did Paul say in Romans 1 and 9? Amen. Romans 1 and 9. What it says? For God is my witness. Who? For God is my witness. That's the Holy Ghost. Amen. See, God is in my spirit. You follow me? Amen. <laughs> God is in my spirit. God isn't your spirit. He's the father of spirits. Right. So Apostle Paul said, God is my witness. The Holy Ghost mm -hmm. is my witness. Now, what is the Holy Ghost witnessing to? His spirit. Your spirit. Right. Holy Ghost have to bear witness to your spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, I know I'm right. Amen. I know I'm right, because I know I'm right. I always check myself out right. in the book. Amen. See, I say something would be strange to your ear, but you better believe I got scripture for it. Right. You may be like, oh, I don't know. No. See, people, here's a problem with folks. They think their spirit is the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's how folks become so self-righteous. Mm -hmm. They think that their spirit is the Holy Ghost. No side. Your spirit isn't the Holy Ghost. Mm -mm. You have a spirit. Amen. Ain't that what Apostle Paul said? Read it again. For God is my witness. God is my witness. Whom I serve with my spirit. How you serve him, Paul? With my spirit. No, you serve him with the Holy Ghost. Whom I serve with my spirit. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. No, you serve him with the Holy Ghost. Whom I serve with my spirit. No, come on, Paul. You got that wrong. My spirit. No, Paul. You got it wrong, Paul. Whom I serve with my spirit. <laughs> Amen. The time cometh when the true worshipers. Yes. My brother Paul is the true worshiper. Mm -hmm. Shall worship the Lord, worship God in spirit. Yes. Who Paul talking about? He said, my spirit. Mm -hmm. That's how you got self-righteous people. They think whatever they do is right. I got the spirit. Man, you better check that spirit out. Right. I better check it out. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Check it out. Amen. Huh? Amen. Your spirit got to bear witness to the eternal spirit. Mm -hmm. And the eternal spirit is documented. Right. Apostle Paul said again, brother, read it. Amen. 
For God is my witness. See, the Holy Ghost isn't your spirit. God isn't your spirit. You have your own spirit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Everybody has their own spirit. Amen. Amen. My God, my God. Now what you going to do with it? You're supposed to worship the Lord in spirit. Yes. And worship him in truth. Right. Huh? Amen. Paul, Paul said, for God is my witness. If your, if, if your spirit is the Holy Ghost, right, mm -hmm. where's the witness at? Mm -hmm. When something is a witness, it takes two. Mm -hmm. It has to be an event and something that is being witnessed. Right. Amen. If you're alone by yourself, right, mm -hmm. nothing around, nowhere, nothing happening, what can you witness to? Something has to event, something has to happen be a witness yeah you have to see something mm -hmm. something have to take place for you to bear witness to it right. Amen. Amen. Pastor Paul said God is my witness mm -hmm. whom I serve with my spirit God witnessing that Paul is serving him with his spirit right that's right read in the gospel of his son hold on oh man that's beautiful there now what's the gospel of his son Hmm? Now listen here. The word was in the beginning. So the word ain't the gospel. And you say, hold on, man, that don't sound right, Pastor. You tell me the word isn't the gospel? <laughs> All right, listen here. Okay, listen. Did the world make it did the word make everything? The word said, did the word make everything? Yes. Yeah. Right? Yes. The word made everything, right? Yes. Before the world was formed, the word was here, right? Yes. Before Jesus got put on a body and came here, the word was here, right? Right. Was the gospel here? No. So the word and the gospel, although the word, you get the gospel through the word, right? Yeah. But the gospel is something different. Because the gospel just got on the scene. Yeah. Compared to the eternal word of God. Amen. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Amen. You know I'm telling the truth. That's right. Amen. Before Jesus came here, did we have the gospel? No. no. Before Jesus came here, did we have the gospel? No. Before Jesus came here, was the word already here? Yeah. So if the word was already here, why wasn't the gospel here? Hold on now. Gotta, uh, amen. <laughs> I know I make your ear tingle. <laughs> but you know I'm telling the truth. Amen. I'm saying something you never heard before, amen. but you know that I'm telling the truth. Amen. And I'm going to back it up and say it again. Amen. So I can, you know, some people ain't as quick as others, you know. <laughs> you got some, some people faster. Some people need to hear something over again. They're like, nah. Some people more, they make more sure of a thing. Mm -hmm. Right. They double check, right. triple check. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you triple checkers and double checkers, I'm going to try to check you out. Amen. I said, the gospel is not the word. Although the gospel came through the word, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. What I'm saying is that the word was always here, right? Amen. Was the gospel? No. no. The gospel came through the Son, right? Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. Let's see what the gospel is. The book of uh, Mark. I believe it's Mark. I yeah, want. Yeah. Mark 1 and 1. That's right. Let's see what the gospel is. Go ahead. Amen. Mark 1 and 1. Mark 1 and 1. The beginning Listen of the closely. Gospel. Listen closely. Beginning of the gospel. Hold on. The gospel has started here. Amen. You know the word don't have no beginning. <laughs> the word don't have no beginning. Right. In the beginning was the word. But something is about to start here. Amen. Right. And it's called what? The gospel. 
Glory God. to God. Amen. I'm telling the truth. Yeah. I'm telling the truth. The gospel is about to start. Read it again. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, when we say Jesus Christ, it has to be rightly divided. Right. You know, because Jesus Christ is God. Amen. Amen. He has no beginning, no ending. Right. But something is about to begin here. Right. Mm -hmm. Do Jesus Christ, he's have no beginning, no ending. Right. He's alpha and he's omega. Amen. Right. He is the beginning and the ending. Amen. Right. But something is about to start. Yes. Amen. Read on. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. the Son of God. Hold on. That's your gospel. Amen. Right. Your gospel is the Son of God. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Hmm? Amen. Oh, yeah, it is. The gospel isn't the Son of David. No. Oh, talk to me, people. <laughs> no. Oh, That's talk right. to me. Amen. The gospel is not the Son of David. No, it's not. Some say that man think he's right. No, I know the Bible is right. Amen. Amen. He always want to be right. You're right. Who want to be wrong? <laughs> Everybody want to be right. But let's be Bible right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I said, now listen, the son of David is not the gospel. Mm -mm. Neither the son of man. The son of man came from heaven, so we know that isn't the gospel. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Give me John 6, six and I think 63. Right. Six and, John 6 and 62. But it says, what and if. What? Some folks say the sun didn't come from heaven. That's a lie. For the Johnson knowers and the Johnson believers and the Bishop Johnson followers, when I say the sun came from heaven, I'm not talking about the son of God. Right. Amen. Huh? Amen. I believe and affirm that the Son of God did not come from heaven. Amen. Neither did he go back to heaven. Right. But just because the Son of God didn't come from heaven, and neither did the Son of God go to heaven, that doesn't have anything to do with the Son of Man. Amen. Amen. That's right. Huh? That's right. Do you want this thing rightly divided, or you want someone to just throw it to you? Rightly divided. Amen. Rightly divided. Throw it to you and say, hey, look, take the Son of God, Son of Man, Son of Day, they, they don't mean the same thing. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They don't even sound the same. <laughs> That's right. Talking about God, man, and David. Why is he the Son of Man? Because he, see, the word Son alone means Savior. Right. You just say son, you're talking about the Savior. Mm -hmm. But then it was manifested. That's right. He's the son of man, why? He is the Savior of who? Man. man. Son of God, why? Because God was where? With Ooh. us, wrapped up in flesh and blood, right. preaching, mm -hmm. and showing great marvelous miracles. Right. So when, he, when the son was in flesh and blood preaching, we got the gospel. What it says again, read it. Amen. Mark 1 and 1. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, Who? the Son of God. The Son of David. The Son of God. The Son of David. The Son of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Son of man. The Son of God. We want to leave everything where it goes. Right. I don't want to get, I want to add nothing nowhere. Thank you. The book is good right the way it is. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. The sun came down from heaven. What John 6 says, 6 and what? 62. Read it. What and if you shall see. What? Amen. And if you shall see the son of man. Who? The son of man. Do what? Ascend up where he was before. He going, so you're telling me the Son of Man was up in heaven, yes. before he came down? Right. Amen. So how are you going to say no son in heaven? <laughs> and who you waiting on? Anybody, don't wait on God. Yeah, you waiting on God, all right, but who's coming? Amen. Son of Man. Son of Man. <laughs> 
That's Tell right. them waiting on God. Yeah, you waiting on God, all right. Mark 13 and 36, 26, that's the one of them. But it says, Mark 13 and 26. Oh, maybe it's, I don't know. We see. It? It's 26? Yes. What it says? And then shall they see. Hold on, listen, listen, listen. You waiting on God, right? Yes. Then shall they see the Son of Man. Who? The Son of Man. Who? The Son of Man. Now, what if I get there and say Son of God? Yeah. Right. Be adding. What if someone say no son coming back? They be subtracting, be lying. <laughs> hey, I'm waiting on the son of man, and you're going to tell me he ain't coming back. He ain't in heaven. Ain't no son in heaven. Folks cross me up. Yeah. Really? When I speak the son, they automatically think I'm talking about the son of God. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank God for Bishop Johnson. He preached the word. Amen. Amen. But Johnson was talking about the Son of God. Yes. Oh, yes, he was. That's his whole dialogue with the Son of God. Mm -hmm. He didn't touch my gospel. Right. And that's amazing. All these years, men don't preach about no Son of Man. They don't rightly divide it. Know why they can't see it. <laughs> they right. just throw them all together like a bat. Put them they're all of them in a basket and throw it at you until you separate it. Or <laughs> yeah. just tell you they all the same. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. Amen. Look, look what the book says. Forget me. What it says again? And then shall they see what the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Now, how how am I not going to see the Son of Man come back? You say there's no Son in heaven, right? How am I going to see one come back then? Amen. That's right. See, I don't care about your gospel, your philosophy, how witty you are, how smart you are. I'm going to go straight to what's written. Amen. Right. And I'm going to wait right there. That's right. That's right. When the folks finish saying this and saying that, I'm going to say, okay, read it again. Amen. Because that ain't going to change. Me and mouse change. I change. You change. Right. But that's going to stay the same. Amen. Amen. Sure is. The gospel, Paul said, whom I serve. Yes. In the gospel of his son. Yes. Hmm? Right. Whom I serve in the gospel of his son. Amen. Meaning what? You in flesh and blood now. Yeah. And you have to serve him with your spirit. Right. And you have to follow the example. Amen. And you know who the example was? The son of God. Amen. That's right. You're not in heaven. <laughs> You're right here on the earth. Amen. Yes. And you need an earthly example. Yes. yes. And our earthly example was the son of God. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Our example wasn't the son of man. Mm -mm. All right, example you have to follow, am I correct? Well, yes. In order for something to be your example, you must follow it, right? Yes. Now, the Son of Man came from where? Heaven. Can you follow that? No. <laughs> you can't follow that. You here on the earth. You got to check out what happened on the earth. Jesus plainly said, I came down from heaven. Yes. To do thy will, O Lord. What? The word came down. And the word and the son are one. Right. But then the word was made flesh, the Bible says, and dwelt mm -hmm. among men. Hmm? Amen. The word got in a body. Yeah, it did. The son got in a body. Yes. The son was here in the beginning. What? The word. Some of the son didn't come from heaven. Where he come from then? <laughs> he didn't come from Mary. <laughs> the son did not come from Mary. Nope. He got in Mary. That's 
See, people think when I say son, you're thinking carnal, you know. Mm -hmm. See, a son, like for example, if I had a, a son and he was standing here, right away, you would know that what? That's my seed. Yes. What meaning what? That that's in me is only thing that makes him my son, not how he look, not how tall he is. He could look nothing like me. But know what makes him my son? The seed. seed. Mm -hmm. Your mouth is a seed. You didn't know that? The Bible said life and death is in the power of the tongue. Amen. So your tongue is just like a seed. It can speak things into existence. Mm -hmm. When the Bible is speaking about the son pertaining to God, it's talking about that which proceeds from God. Right. Amen. Ain't talking about no little boy. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Hmm? Amen. Hmm? That's right. Talking about no little child. Something came down from God, and that was his word. Right. He used the word son. You know why he used the word son? We'll be dealing with that throughout ages. Many things may change, but certain words man will always be using. Father is one, mm -hmm. and son is the other. I don't care if this world live a billion years. They still be using the word father and the word son. Right. Hmm? Amen. Oh, yeah. That's right. Huh? Amen. What and if? Amen. What and if, John 6 and 62, uh -huh. you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before. So before the Son of Man came down here, yeah. he was in heaven. Right. That's why when Stephen was being stoned, Stephen said, he looked up and said, I see the Son of Man. Right. Standing, standing at the right, right hand of God. Amen. He saw salvation. Right. Hmm? Amen. Amen. Yes, he did. I could stand here and say, you know what? I got a right hand and I got a left hand. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use them to clap, right? Mm -hmm. I just used the word them, didn't I? Mm -hmm. But who am I talking about? You. <laughs> Still talking about me. Yeah. Didn't I? Yeah. I used the word them. I got a right hand. <laughs> and I got a left hand. And I'm going to use what? Them. So when God say them, he's still talking about who? Yeah. 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 That's right. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hmm? Amen. Amen. Stephen saw salvation. He saw the arm of God. Right. The Lord said, I look, and there was none of hold. And my own arm. Oh, salvation unto me. My own arm. Yep. Brought salvation unto me. Mm -hmm. The arm of God brought us salvation. Right. Amen. You can't, if my arm reach out and help you, you say, man, if it wasn't for that arm, I'd have never made it. Right. Uh, you say, I'd never made it if it wasn't for that arm. <laughs> say, man, you cannot, even, you cannot even see my face. You can just see the arm. Mm -hmm. And I'll pull you up out of the water. Right. Amen. Although you be giving all that honor to the arm, right? Mm -hmm. But the arm is attached. Right. <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's attached to something. That's right. That's right. The Son of Man is the Savior. He's the arm of God. Right. But it said, give me, um, let's, let's, let's look at uh, the book of John. Mm -hmm. And uh, John... Five. All right. And uh, you can start at the uh, You can start at the, uh, give us what, 17 verse. John 5 and 17. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. But Jesus answered them, Yeah. My father worketh hitherto, uh -huh. and I work.
Jesus answered and said, My father worked hitherto. And I work. And I work. See there? One folk said the son don't work. <laughs> the son works because they're one. Right. Gee, what it says again? My father worketh hitherto, and I work. My God, my God. That's, they won. Read on. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him. Now they wanted to kill Jesus. Yeah. They seemed like, why? That ain't enough to want to kill him? All he said was, my father worked. And I work. <laughs> why they want to kill him over that? Because he was saying he was God. Yeah. That's why they wanted to kill him. Yeah. Watch, read on. Because he not only had broken the Sabbath. Not only did he break the Sabbath. But he said also that God was his father. What? Amen. Then Amen. doing what? Making himself equal with God. Now, how did that term make himself equal with God? He said God is his father. Right now, you say God your father, right? Mm -hmm. Would that make you saying you equal with God? No. <laughs> Would that make you saying you're God? Mm -mm. The Jews understood what Jesus was saying. Yeah. They were saying that he pursued it from God. And, they, and the Jews understood that there's nothing else but one God. Amen. Right. Amen. That's right. And nothing else comes from God but, but God. God. Right. Amen. 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 Oh boy. Yeah. So therefore, right away, they understood who? You trying to make yourself a God being man? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm God manifested in the flesh. Yes. Right. And Amen. the Jews wasn't having that. Mm -mm. They wasn't having no God being manifested in the flesh. We hear the prophets. But you're not telling me that you're God himself. Yeah. I'm not going for that. <laughs> this is why they're mad. Yes. But the Bible says great is the mystery of godliness. Yes. God was manifested in the flesh. Justified in the spirit, seen of angels. Yes. Believed on in the world and received up into glory. His name shall be called Emmanuel. Being interpreted, God, God with us. With us. Amen. 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 And only one way for God to be with us, he had to put on one of these. Right. Amen. Whoever don't have one of these, Amen. they're not with us. Right. <laughs> Amen. That's right. That's why God ain't with us now. Amen. So yeah, he, yeah, I'm talking about the spirit. I know the spirit is here. Yeah. I'm talking about God himself isn't here. Right. Yeah. If you say he is, point him out. <laughs> right. Take your time. We're not in a hurry. Right. Just point him out. Yeah. But at one time, you could have pointed him out. Yes. You can say, there go God, he with us, he right there. Amen. Yeah. And that's what the Jews didn't like. Right. Amen. Amen. He shall be called Emmanuel. Yeah. Being interpreted, God with us. So God, which the son of man, came down from heaven, got in a body. Right. And gave us the gospel. Amen. The son of God. Right. Hmm? Amen. Just that simple. Keep reading. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Can read? Verily, verily, I say unto you, can read on. The Son can do nothing of himself. Know why the Son can't do nothing of himself? My words are coming to you right now, right? Mm -hmm. Can they do anything of itself? Although my words, I could speak and it could get things to happen and moving, but my words can do nothing of itself. My words only can do what I send it to do, right. what I tell it to do, what I have it to do. Right. So my words can do nothing of itself. The Son, which is the Word, 
right. can do nothing of itself, but it's still God. Although my words can do nothing of itself, my words and me are what? One. One. Read. The son can do nothing of himself. Read on. But what he seeth the father do. Yeah. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the son likewise. They're really getting mad at him now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. You notice it didn't say the son of God. Right. It didn't say the son of David. Right. It didn't say the son of man. It just yeah. said the son. son. Right. No, oh, Jesus is going to break it down. Keep reading. For the father loveth the son. What? Amen. Now listen here. I want y'all to listen to this now. Yeah. The father <laughs> loveth the son. Amen. Read on. And showeth him all things that himself doeth. Lord Jesus. All things Yes. All things and showeth him all things that himself doeth. Read on. And he will show him greater works than these that ye may marvel. You think my words don't see what I'm saying? But if I say <laughs> something to you, when you hear my words, right? Do you get the impression that my words that you're hearing see what I'm saying or don't see what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. You ever someone be talking, say, man, you could be talking to somebody, right? Say, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's true. <laughs> you ain't never done that? <laughs> yeah. You be talking to somebody, man, you see what I'm saying? What do you mean, see? Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Amen. Yes, sir. And Amen. you're not talking about these eyes, these eyes, are you? No. There's another sight, you know. Yeah. And it's called the inward man. Yeah. Amen. And that's what you said. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you be blind as a bat. <laughs> yeah. So you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see you. I see what you're saying. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm trying to talk to now. You're inward man. Amen. Right. And that's why when the Son of God was here, he took no credit. Because he was trying to get you to see what was in the inside. Mm -hmm. He kept pointing you to who? The Father. Mm -hmm. When I speak to you, all my words are going to direct you right back. If me and you have a conversation, right? And I'm talking to you. All my words are going to direct you back to who? You. The Son's purpose was to direct everything back to the Father. Right. Listen here. Listen to me close. The father is who said it. Mm -hmm. And the son is what the father have said. <laughs> Got that? Let's say it again. Amen. <clears throat> say it plainly. Come on with it. The father yeah. is who said it. Yes. And the son is what? The Father have said. Right. Amen. Amen. One more time. Go ahead. For good, for good measure. Right. Yes. The Father yes. is who said it. Right. Amen. And the Son is what the Father has said. Amen. Now let someone try to divide that. <laughs> <laughs> try to separate that. Amen. Case. You, we can't even separate us from our own words. You say you're going to do something, you don't do it, you're a crook. Why? You didn't do it, your words. You can't separate the fact that you said something and didn't do it. <laughs> right. So now that wasn't me. Oh, yeah, that was you. <laughs> right. <laughs> you's a liar. <laughs> Why? I'm not calling you a liar because I looked at you. <laughs> I'm calling you a liar because of what you said. Right. You see that? You see what happened? Yeah. I can look at you all day long. I'm not, I'm calling you a liar because I see you. No. I'm calling you a liar from what you just said. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tying you and what you said as one. Right. I say that the son is God because the son is what the father has said. Right. Read on. 
For as the Father raiseth up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. What? That's telling you something there. <laughs> even the Son quickeneth whom he will. Right. Read on. For the Father judgeth no man. Ooh, hold on now. That's something there. Hold, listen to the book. Amen. The Father judgeth no man. That's something there. I mean, tell me the Father ain't gonna judge nobody. So he gonna do shit up there like this? And the day of judgment, the Father be like this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think that, do you? No. Do you think in the day of judgment, he gonna be like this? There gonna be some little boy that say, judge him. I think somebody could be sitting beside the father and say, get him. <laughs> right now, we're being judged, don't we? Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. You know what we're being judged by? The word. The word. Right. See, the word and the father are one, see? So the word got us. See, that's why I said, read it. Amen. Lord, got gotcha. you. For the Father judgeth no man. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. That's the word gonna judge you, right? Oh yeah, the word gonna judge all of us, right? Right now, if I was to judge you, right? What's gonna get you? What come out of my mouth, right? Read. Amen. That all men should honor the Son. That what? All men should honor the Son. What? Then it don't it didn't say nothing about no Son of God. It didn't say Son of David. No. And they say Son of Man. It's letting you know you got to honor the Son. Right. All men shall honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. Read on. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, Ooh. which hath sent him. Oh, so something was sent. Yes. So we talking about the Son that was sent. Yeah. We, when he was sent, what was he sent from? Heaven. Oh, Amen. so it's talking about something that came from heaven. Yeah. Right? Yes. And we know what came from heaven. Read it, going back to John 6 and 63, what it says. Amen. John 6 and 63. Yeah, read it. 62. 62. What and if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? <laughs> Son of Man came down from heaven. He was sent from heaven. And if he was sent from heaven, what it says in John? Is we at 22? Jesus Christ. John 6. Ain't no 6. 5 and 23. This fella can't keep up. I mean, gosh. Some of them you need to let go. You hold them Luke for. You, ain't, you got Luke in your hand for. Some of them you need to let go. <laughs> what it says, Amen. read it, read it. 23. Uh -huh. That all men should honor the Son. That all men should honor the Son, uh -huh. even as they honor the Father. Read. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, read. which hath sent him. Read on. Verily, verily, I say unto you, mm -hmm. he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me mm -hmm. hath everlasting life. Ooh. Read. And shall not come into condemnation, uh, but is passed from death unto life. So when you hear the word, you can pass death to life. And there's two yes. type of deaths. Am I right? Yes. There's two deaths. There's a death, a natural death, right? Amen. And there's a spiritual death. Right? Amen. Folks right now, some folks are what are called dead now. 
Somebody here right now is dead. Yeah. Say, no, ain't nobody here dead, Pastor. Everybody here breathing. Oh, somebody here is dead. Oh, yeah, they dead. Somebody right now is dead. According to the Ephesians 2, right. and I believe 1. Amen. You got it? Amen. But it says, Ephesians 2 and 1. You have he has quickened. What it who says? Who are dead in trespasses and sins. Okay, okay. You have he quickened. Amen. Somebody haven't been quickened. You think everybody here has been quickened? No. no. So if you haven't been quickened, where are you? Dead. You're dead. Now everybody was dead one point of the time, so don't, don't think no one's throwing slight at you. But you who were dead. Amen. And you have to be quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. Now, how do you think you're going to come out of that? If you're dead in sin and trespasses, how are you coming out? Amen. I can't, you can't come to the Lord on your own. Nope. I ain't never seen a dead man move. If you're dead, if you're spiritually dead, that is. Yeah. If you're spiritually dead in sin and trespasses, how are you coming out? The quickener have to come get you. Yes. Hmm? Amen. Hmm? He got to quicken you. Right? Read what it says. Verily, verily, I say unto you, mm -hmm. The hour is coming, uh -huh. and now is. Listen closely. Now, we're living in a time right now. Yes. We're living in a time right now mm -hmm. that what? Read. Amen. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. You hear that? Now, you're dead where? In sin and trespasses. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. in, the, in order for you to live now, what voice you have to hear? Son of God. And where are we at? On earth. Now, do you think that he's speaking from heaven? You able to hear the Son of God right now, right? Right. Am I right? Amen. Yeah. Amen. You think, are you hearing something from heaven? No. <laughs> no please talk plain with me, please. All right. Someone in here is dead in sin and trespasses, right? Mm. Aren't they dead in sin and trespasses? Right. Yeah. And they have to hear what voice? Amen. The voice of the Son of God. Okay. You that are dead right now Amen. in sin and trespasses, you have to hear the voice of the Son of God, don't you? Yes. Now, what are you hearing? Amen. You're hearing a man in flesh and blood right now. Amen. Right. Amen. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody tell you, go, look, look, you want to be saved, go see the Son of God. Yeah. You had, did you come to see the Son of God or you came to see, when you, you knew I was going to be here preaching, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? You knew I was going to be here preaching, right? <laughs> Who did you come to hear? See, I mean. You know. <laughs> so the, you're looking for the Spirit to use flesh and blood. Right. Amen. Am I right? Yeah. Amen. Am I right? Yeah. Amen. You're looking for some flesh. Mm-hmm. You ain't looking for no ghost in here, are you? No. Say, so, yeah, I'm looking for the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Yeah. yeah. Boy, I let all the sit. I'm going to sit down. And you tell me when you start hearing the Holy Ghost. <laughs> tell me what voice you hear. <laughs> you need somebody in flesh and blood, don't you? Yeah. You got to have somebody in flesh and blood. Yeah. You got to have somebody in flesh and blood. Yeah. So whenever the Spirit is speaking today, he's going to speak to a man in flesh and blood. And that's how you hear the voice of the Son of God. And they that hear shall live. What? Amen. And they that hear shall live. You don't see the Son of God, do you? Mm -mm. But you can hear him. Right. You can hear the Son of God right now. 
Why? It's just, just like in the days of old with the apostles. Mm -hmm. They was able to hear the Son of God. Why? Because the Spirit was working in flesh and blood. Right. Amen. Amen. The Spirit today is working in flesh and blood. Yeah. Amen. And you have to, you that are dead in sin and trespasses, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. have to hear right. the voice of the Son of God. Right. Amen. Read that again. Take it up to read that thing again. Amen. I like that. Read it. Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh -huh. the hour is coming. The hour is coming. And now is. And the hour is now. You're here. You're here. Yeah. Read. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. Now, we're not talking about the dead in Christ. Right. Right? Amen. We're not talking about that. For they sleep. Mm -hmm. Right? We're talking about folks that are dead in sin and trespasses. Yes. They shall hear the voice of God and do what? And they that hear shall live. Read on. For as the Father hath life in himself, yeah. so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. Hold on now. We're going to take it slow. Yeah. Because he's about, he about to switch up on us about to do what they call a switcheroo. Mm -hmm. Read that verse again first. Take it slow again. Read it. For as the Father hath life. Up one more time. Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh -huh. the hour is coming, uh -huh. and now is. All right, we talking about a present hour that is here. Yes. Right? And this is a present hour that's here? Yeah. So we're not talking about the dead in Christ, are we? Mm -mm. Because if that was, they would have to come up and live. Right. Yeah. Right? We're talking about those that are dead in sin and trespasses. Mm -hmm. The hour is coming and now it is. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. Uh-huh. And they that hear shall live. All right. See, that's how I'm living. Amen. That's how the saints are living. Amen. Right. We're living because we heard the voice of the Son of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right? Amen. Someone preached by the Spirit in flesh and blood, and you heard it. Amen. Right. Now you're living. Amen. Yeah. 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 Right? Yes. Yeah. Ain't that how you're living? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hmm? Thank you, Lord. That voice came from some man. Behold, you wonders and despise us. Ain't that what it says? I will work a work in your day, then you will no wise believe. Right. Though a man declared, declared unto you. Yeah. A man hath to declare it unto you. Amen. All right, now watch this. Now read on. For as the Father hath life in himself. As the Father hath life in himself. So hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. Who are we talking about right now? Son of man. Talking about, I mean, the, the, who, who is talking about Jesus, right? Yeah. Jesus being who? The Son of God. Yeah. Right? But Jesus isn't just the Son of God, is he? No. He's also the Son of Man, right? Right. And he's also the Son of David. Son of David. But the Son of Man is not the Son of David, and the Son of David is not the Son of Man. Right. Like, for example, let me explain something to you. I have a daughter, right? Mm -hmm. I have a wife, right? And then say I have an employee. My daughter calls me, calls me what? Father. Calls me her father. Right? Yeah. My wife calls me what? Her husband. Her husband. My employee calls me boss. the boss. But who is it talking about? Larry Mathis. Mm -hmm. Is the father, is the, is the son and the father, the, are them two the same? Not the one, not that the fact that the father is talking about, pointing back here. Right. What I'm saying is, the son and the father, do they function the same? Do they? No, they don't. You can't put the son 
with the wife, can you? Can you do that? Why? They're different. Although they're talking about one, the son is talking about one, the husband is talking about one, the boss is talking about one, but they three are what? They're different. You think the same thing took place, me having a son and me being a, and that being my mama? No. no. Still talking about that one me. Right. right. But it got to be what? Right. Got to be rightly divided. Right. All I'm saying, let's rightly divide it. Right. Read on. For as the father have life in himself, yeah. so has he given to the son to have life in himself. Read on. And hath given him authority to execute judgment. Uh -huh. Also because he also is. Also because he is. <laughs> the son of man. Well, who's, who that, who's also the son of man? Not the son of God. Right. But Jesus. Right. When it says because he's also the son of man. Who do you think is. Who's the also is it referring to? Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Is not Jesus also the son of man? Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, is not Jesus also the Son of Man? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, you think they're saying the, the Son of God, the Son of Man is also the Son of God? No. You think that's what it means? No. It don't mean that. Who is also the Son of Man? Jesus. He's also the Son of David. Yeah. He's also the Son of God. Amen. But he's Lord, letting you know something here. Mm -hmm. That the Son of Man functions different yeah. than the Son of God. See, what is, see what it said about what the Son of God do again? Go up. Yes. The hour is coming and now is. The hour is coming and now is. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. Read. And they that hear shall live. Uh-huh. The noun is you hear the voice of the Son of God. You dead and sin and trespasses. You can live. Right. Read on. 27. Keep reading. For as the Father have life in himself. As the Father have life in himself. So hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. Read on. And hath given him authority to execute judgment also. Why? Because he is the Son of Man. Uh-huh. He, he what? Is uh -huh. the Son of Man. Because he what? Is the Son of Man. Read on. Marvel not at this. Marvel not at this. For the hour is coming. Now hold on. Now we're talking about another hour. We already heard when you write down the hour that is. Yes. You can hear the voice of who? The Son of God and live. And you can do what? Live. But now another hour is coming. Yeah. Right on. For the, hour, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the graves shall hear the voice, hear his voice, uh -huh. and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, mm -hmm. and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Now listen here. And you know for yourself that's not talking about the Son of God. Because the Bible says the, the dead to hear the voice of the Son of God and shall live. Mm -hmm. But now there's another time that's about to happen. Yeah. When all they that are in the grave. Right. right. In the grave. And then when they say, read it. Yes. Marvel not at this, uh -huh. for I was coming in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice. Uh -huh. This judgment, this is the end of time. Read on. And shall come forth, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Uh -huh. I can of my own self do nothing. Now who is that talking about? The son. son of man. Let's see it. Go back to Mark. What was that? Mark? 13 and 26. Right there. Amen. Read it. Mark 13 and 26. Read it. And then shall they see uh -huh. the Son of Man coming in the power, coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Uh huh. And shall, and then shall he send his angels. And shall gather together his elects from the four winds. Uh huh. The, yeah. the, that's the. When you hear the voice of the Son of Man, that's going to be the gathering mm. of his elects. 
Do you, can you see that? Amen. Can you see it? Yes. I mean, can you see it though? Amen. Oh, you see what? Do you see what I'm saying? Amen. Honestly, do you see what I'm saying? Amen. The voice of the Son of God is God. Listen here. If God was to crack the sky and speak to you in His power and His Majesty, you know what you would do? He will fall down, and you couldn't take it. If every day you came here, God Himself was speaking, you couldn't take it. You wouldn't be able to take it. Flesh and blood can't handle that. Right. So what God have to do? Speak through flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. So you won't run out of here and be all on the ground and ah! Like they told Moses, we were here, you Moses. When, when the Lord spoke with the children of Israel, they wanted to hear God. They went to trembling. They told Moses, no, 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 Moses, look, we hear you. Right. You, if God, every day you came before to worship him. If God himself spake to you, you could not handle it. So therefore, he's speaking through flesh and blood. Amen. Right. And it's called the voice of the Son of God. Yeah. But the Bible said the hour is going to come when which? Amen. When the Son of Man. Marvel not at this. For the hour is coming in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice. Hold on. You see that? All that are in the grave shall hear his voice. Right. When God don't speak through flesh and blood, my God, you coming up out of all the dead going to hear his voice. Mm -hmm. Huh? You're right. All the dead. Not some, but all the dead. Read on. And shall come forth, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Now, who voice you think you're going to hear? Right. In the last day, say you dead, you in the grave. Who you think coming to get you? Who coming to get you? God. You say God, right? Yeah. But who's that? Jesus. Jesus Christ. Which is who? The Son, the Son of, Man. of Man. There's no one else coming back to, to save us but the Son of Man. People try it like the Son of Man isn't God. Well, who's coming to save you then? Amen. You say, God. Is God coming to save you? Amen. He's coming to get you? Let's see who that God is. Amen. Mark. Uh huh. 1326. Read. And then shall they see the Son of Man. Who coming to get you? The Son of Man. Amen. 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 Who coming to get you? The Son of Man Amen. coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Yeah. Amen. 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 Read on. And then shall he send his angels. There he is and shall gather together his elect mm -hmm. from the four winds. Uh -huh, read on. From the uttermost parts of the earth to the uttermost parts of heaven. To gather his elects? Yes. He should gather what? His elects. His father elects. His elects. His fathers. His elects. Sometimes he says his father, sometimes he say his. Right. Same thing. Amen. To point. gather his elects. Yes. Son of God didn't come to gather anything. <laughs> right. Read on. And shall gather together his elects from the four winds. Read on, read, read. From the uttermost parts of the earth, from the uttermost parts of the heavens. Read on. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. Learn the parable of the fig tree. When her branch is yet tender, uh -huh. and put her forth leaves, uh -huh. ye know that summer is near. All this wickedness is going on. You know time about out. Amen. Yeah. Amen. My God, people go walk straight out and hold hands. Two men. And you scared to death to call it wrong. Hmm? Yeah. Churches, so-called churches. Say, ain't nothing, you know, love is love. No. All love ain't good. All love, I say, ain't good. 
Bible says lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Yeah. Just because it love don't make it right. Type of, huh? Right. They say, what love got to do with it? You wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know the time is near. More now than when you first believe. Huh? Right. Read on. So ye in like manner, when you shall see these things come to pass, uh -huh. know that it is nigh, uh -huh. even at the door. Read on. Verily I say unto you, Read. that this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. Uh -huh. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But my words shall not pass away. Read on. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man. Uh -huh. No, not the angels uh -huh. which are in heaven, uh -huh. neither the sun. See, the sun don't know nothing. Why? I told you before. What do my words know? Nothing. My words just going out. They don't go try to talk to my words. <laughs> they can't tell you nothing. <laughs> huh? Read on, read, read, read. <laughs> But the sun. Yeah, read on. Amen. Take ye heed uh -huh. and watch and pray. Yeah. For ye know not when the time is. Yeah. For the Son of Man, yeah. amen, is as a man taking a far journey. What? See, who left here? Son of Man. Who took the far journey? The Son of Man. For the Son of Man it is one that have taken a far journey. Who left his house. Amen. Amen. Read on. And gave authority to his servants. See, I'm in authority. Amen. He's not here. Amen. He left his house and gave authority to the servant. Amen. Read. And to every man his work. And then you have something to do too. Yeah. Right. Amen. And read on. And commanded the porter to watch. You better watch. Watch ye therefore. Watch ye therefore. For ye know not when the master of the house cometh. You know who the master is, right? The son Amen. of man is the master. Yes. Yeah. The master's coming back. Yes. Oh, the master's coming back. Right. Read on. At even. At even. Or at midnight. Or at midnight. Or at the cock crowing. Uh huh. Or in the morning. Watch. Amen. What is that? That's coming suddenly, he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all. Do what? Watch. Amen. 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 I ask you a question. <clears throat> Who you watching to come back? I dare you to say you watching for the Son of God to come back. The Bible don't say no way he's coming back. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I'm watching too. Amen. I'm watching. Okay, what no one say. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I know that my Redeemer liveth. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. Amen. I'm watching Amen. for the return of the Son of Man. Yeah. Huh? Amen. Yeah. What's that? Revelation 14 and 14. What it says. Amen. And I looked. And I looked. And behold, a uh, white cloud. Uh, a white cloud. And upon the cloud one sat. Who? One sat. Uh-huh. Like unto the Son of Man. Uh-huh. Having on his head a golden crown. Yeah. And in his hand a sharp sickle. Uh-huh. And another angel came out of the temple. Who are you waiting to come back? Amen. Who you watching for? Right. So I'm waiting on God. I'm waiting on God to come back. Well, if you don't know that the Son of Man is God, you're going to be lost. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's a shame. You know, you sitting outside, you waiting on a ride to pick you up, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't even know who your ride is. <laughs> That's a bad thing. Yeah. That's a real bad thing. You know who your ride is. 
I'm telling you, your ride is the Son of Man. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's why Jesus told, in the hereafter shall you see the angels of God ascending and descending upon, upon the, the Son, Son of Man. Man. That's yeah. your only ticket Amen. out of here. Amen. Who you watching for? Amen. I tell you who I'm watching for. Who you watching for? You watching for the son of David? You say they all mean the same thing, right? You watching for the son of David? No, sir. That was the, that was the bloodline. That was the gene genealogy, the right. generation. You watching for the son of God? No, I heard what he said. And I obeyed it. Amen. Now I'm waiting on my reward. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Who going to think going to give you a crown of life? Son of man. Who going to gather you from the four corners of the world? Son of man. Now, now am I making this up? No. Am I making it up? No. You say, well, preachers don't preach this. Who cares? Am I making it up? No. And you know, I tell folks, there's no scripture nowhere for the Son of God at the right hand of God. I've offered a reward. They can't do it. Because you know why? It's not there. Now look, watch this. Give me Stephen real quick in the book of Acts. All right. Amen. Acts 7 and 55. Read it. Be, being, but he, being full of the Holy Ghost. Now Stephen... It's full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Now, some of these preachers ain't full of nothing. And they may got the Holy Ghost, but they definitely ain't full. Some ain't got nothing, and some ain't full. Right. But Stephen is what? Full of the Holy now, Ghost. Now, forget me. Drop me off. Forget me. We're going to see what this man that was. You say, well, you ain't got no Holy Ghost. All right, that's fine. You say that, it's fine. Don't hurt my feelings. Forget me. So you ain't got enough Holy Ghost. I said, forget me. Amen. <laughs> Stephen is full of it. Amen. Look up steadfastly into heaven. So Stephen looked up steadfast to heaven. That means that Stephen was not distracted. He didn't peep up, go. No, nah, some people get. No, nah, no, nah, he was steadfast. Yeah. Read. And saw the glory of God. Saw the glory of God. And Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Uh huh. And said, what? Behold, Behold, I see the heavens opened. The heaven, what? I see the heavens opened. And the sun. Oh, so up. I see the heavens opened. Amen. Right. Amen. I see. Amen. There's a door here. Amen. Once I open that door, you know what's in there. Right. right. You open, it, open that door, and I say, there's a refrigerator in there. And you say, it ain't one. Say, come on now. <laughs> I, know what I, and then, I know what I just saw. Amen. Say, no, nah, you saw a stove. No. I didn't see a stove. I saw a refrigerator. <laughs> Stephen, Amen. full of the Holy Ghost, he said, I see what the heavens opened. The heavens were opened. Right. Read on. And the Son of Man, who? The Son of Man, standing on the right hand of God. Now, why folks say the Son of God is at the right hand of God? Why do they say that? You know that's not in the book? You know why there ain't no Son of God at the right hand of God? Because there's no God beside him. Oh, yeah, the Son of Man is at the right hand of God. Why? The Savior, Savior. of Man. Right. What? The arm of God. Arm of God. Amen. Right. That that you cannot detach. Amen. Ain't no Son of God at no right hand of God. You got the Son of God at the right hand of God? I mean, no, you got the Son of Man at the right hand of God? No Son of God at the right hand of God. But the Son of Man. You got the Son of Man going and coming back. Right. And the Bible tell you, lift up the Son of Man. Amen. You know, folks go right and lift up the Son of God. 
and get mad. Bible says, lift up the Son of Man. What that? Three John three yeah. fourteen. Yeah. Amen. And isn't that what I'm doing? Amen. 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 Isn't that what I'm doing? Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. Don't you got to keep going over that. I'm gonna keep going over it. Amen. 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 You play your old song ain't no good. You play that over and over again. Get a favorite song, they riding their car, and hit, what that button you hit? Repeat. Repeat. <laughs> How many times you listen to that? <laughs> over and over and over and over. Why? You want it down in that brain. You want to be, when you get out the car, you still, you still can hear it. <laughs> you at work, ain't nothing playing. You. What didn't happen? Well, that's what I'm doing with this gospel. Amen. Amen. Pound it down in there. Amen. <laughs> what it says? John 3 and 14. What it says? And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. As Moses? You know when Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, the folks were healed. Right. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Even so must the son of man be lifted up. Get mad with me. I'm lifting up the Son of Man. You get mad. I want to say they mean the same thing. I don't even, that mean the same thing. But won't ever preach the Son of Man. I say for all the folks that try to say Son of God, Son of Man mean the same thing. Why don't you preach the Son of Man then? Because you know they don't mean the same thing. Hmm? Hmm. Who went down into the heart of the earth? Luke 24 and I believe 7. Three days and three nights. Amen. And you know none of these scriptures are going to say son of God. What it says? What it says? Luke 24 and 7? Luke 24 and 7. Read it. Saying, uh -huh. the son of man must be delivered into the hands of sinful uh -huh. men uh -huh. and be crucified and the third day rise again. So who rose? Son of man. I believe Matthews 12 and 40 or 44, somewhere in there. So who rose? Son of man. Who's supposed to be lifted up? Son of man. Who's at the right hand of God? Son of man. Who's coming back? Son of man. They all mean the same thing. No. Right, right. That only makes sense. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Huh? What you got? Matthew 12 and 40. What it says? For as Jonas was three days and three nights in as, the whale's belly. As Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly. So shall the son of man be mm -hmm. three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Who will be in the heart of the earth? The son of man. Do you not know the first day? You know, scholars, you know, you can't get three days and three nights if you follow that body. Right. You know that? Yes. You'll never get three days and three nights. In order for you to get three days and three nights, you got to follow what Jesus said. Three days and three nights, so the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth. Right. You got to start from the time when he yielded up the ghost. Yeah. yeah. If you want your three days and three nights, you got to start when he yielded up the ghost and went down into the heart of the earth. Right. Who? The Son of Man. Mm -hmm. If you don't do that, you're going to lose a day. Because right. see, he didn't, he didn't go down into the sepulchre until almost a whole day was gone. Right. He hung up on the, the uh, cross. Hmm? Right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You're going to lose a day. Oh, yeah, you will. You follow that body, you will never get you three days and three nights. <laughs> that's right. If you want you three days and three nights, you got to follow what? The Spirit. Amen. Who? The Son of Man. Right. <laughs> You'll never get three days and three nights following that body. Amen. And that, you know, that body didn't go into no heart or no earth. Nope. Show didn't preach. <laughs> Amen. Not the few right there, show didn't preach. <laughs> that body didn't go no heart or no earth. They put it in a tomb. You know, the heart of the earth is not a tomb. Right. He went into the heart of the earth. Three days and three nights. 
as Jonas was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights. In the heart of the earth. Where? In the heart of the earth. Not, on no, not in no tomb. Right. Where was he at? In the heart of the earth. Glory to God. That's deep, ain't it? Amen. Amen. Ain't no fleshly body going down to no heart of the earth. <laughs> you think your body going to go down to some heart of the earth? It got a process of decaying. And it still ain't going to make it there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Amen. You don't even know what's in the heart of the earth. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. But the Son of Man went there. Yes, he did. You know that ain't talking about Mary's baby. The son, of, the son of God came out of Mary. Right. Luke 1 and 35. Amen. And the angel answered and said unto her. The angel the, answered and said to Mary. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. Uh -huh. And the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Uh -huh. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee. What's going to be born of thee, Mary? Shall be called. The Son of God. So that what was born of Mary, we call that what? The Son of God. We don't call that which came from heaven the Son of God. No. We call that which came from heaven the Son of Man. Amen. We call that which was born of Mary. The Son of God. Shall be called the Son of now God. What you going you gonna to say? You going to call that which was born of Mary the same thing that came from God, from heaven? No. That's why the satyrian said, when they pierced him in the side and he died, the satyrian said, surely, truly, truly this was, was the son, son of God. God. <laughs> What's wrong with the son of God? People, you know, it's something that you think of, you know, see people cross it up. They see the word God and they gone. That God was with us. Hmm? Right. In a body. But God is coming back to save you. Right. And he's doing everything through his son. Yes. Mm -hmm. hmm? Amen. Now watch now. Watch. He's coming as a thief in the night. Amen. The Bible said the Son of Man comes as a thief in the night. Yes. 